Hello and welcome to another James Bond video. I thought I would show you today James Bond Monopoly. Um, I bought this for my my young lad at Christmas who's also a James Bond fan like me and we've had a bit of fun with it. Um, so obviously the normal Monopoly you have to it's sort of like a game of life type situation where you buy houses and hotels and get on the property ladder that kind of thing um, but in any themed version of Monopoly, I'm guessing this is the case for most of the themes, the realism goes out the window. So now, instead of landing on properties, we're landing on James Bond films. Go figure. So, hey, I'm sorry I landed on your The Living Daylights. I guess I'll give you a grand, that kind of thing. Silly, but fun. Um, so let's see what else we've got in here. So the pieces for this game, we've got... What's this? The Acro Star Jet from Octopussy. Odd Jobs Bowl hat, I presume. It could be one of Sean Connery's early hats. Uh, Rosa Klebs boot, yeah. Um, the Lotus from The Spy I Love Me. I presume that's the Aston Martin, maybe. And a generic kind of 007 gun um, and also the community chest and chance cards in this game are extremely funny so you would think that they would just be kind of like a theme a uh, variation on the normal community chest and chances like um, so oh it's Q's birthday give him ten dollars or instead of banker in your favor maybe MI6 have overpaid you by two hundred dollars uh, but no, as you'll see. Whisk Tatiana to safety. Get out of jail free. I don't know what this has got to do with having a get out of jail free card. Um, so I guess you get to take Tatiana and put her in your cupboard. And if you need to get out of jail one day, you can pay your captor with Tatiana or something. I don't know. Um... Help Jinx out of a jam. Collect $150. Or whatever the uh, monetary thing is there. Uh, I, I, don't, I would have thought that it would be... It should be... Um, kill Jinx on these lasers. And rewrite the plot. And get $150. That would be my version. <laughs> Collared by Electra. Go back three spaces. Yeah, because if I was... I mean, if you're tied up in Electra's trap there, the first thought you would have would be... Oh no, I'm going to have to go back three spaces. What have we got here? So, uh, right, okay, so these are the are they Chinese, the Chinese girls who are really good at Kung Fu in The Man with the Golden Gun. Uh, backup arrives, collect $10. Um, except in this scene in the movie, they actually leave Bond just after they've turned up. So this should be a negative card, really. It should be lose $10. Your allies have just abandoned you. But what do I know? She always did enjoy a good squeeze. So, okay, so we've killed Zenya. We get $100 for it. Doesn't seem like a very good deal. I would wa want a lot more money for uh, seeking out and killing Zenya. I think it would be a very difficult thing to do. This is a funny one. Jaws gets a hold of you. Pay $50. I'm pretty sure if Jaws got a hold of you, you would die. But... Um, in James Bond Monopoly, you just pay him $50 and he'll let you go and go on his merry way, presumably. Gain a new ally at Largo's expense. Okay, so here we've got Sean Connery cavorting with uh, the Domino character. Um, advance to go, collect $200. I'm pretty sure Sean Connery is perfectly content with having Domino and he's not bothered about the $200, but anyway. Win poker game with Le Chief. I think that's how you pronounce it. Collect $200. Um, I'm pretty sure they were betting for far more in the film. Leave Kananga's henchmen in your way. Collect $20. So you get the idea now. Acquire a rather large hood ornament. Collect $50. How the makers of this game zeroed in on that ornament thing and decided to make a card out of it, I will never know. 
There's the last one. Dinner is served. Pay fifteen dollars. So we've got Mr. Kid attacking you with lit sheesh kebabs, and that's a really bad, dangerous thing. So you're gonna have to pay fifteen dollars. I'm afraid. Oh, just to go back to this card, it's a Bond women card, but Mr. Kid's in it. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I mean, there's like another 70 80 cards that are just like that very silly but it's fun you know we've had a good time with it a uh, good laugh so yep if you're a james bond fan by all means go out and buy james bond monopoly um <laughs> i'm glad to have shown you it okay so goodbye